What's up everybody, hope you're all well, it's Nathan from UKDC. It's going to be a slightly longer video today, as we're going to be doing a full custom etch on the blade, and we're going to be doing a shipwreck patina on the uh, brass scales I've got. I'll also be etching the hardware as well, such as the pins, the screws, backspace room pocket clip. So we'll start by taking it to bits. Also today, sporting my G-Shock Mudmaster. Had it about seven years. It's a really good watch. The pins can be quite tricky to get out, so you can just use your bit if you're careful to get them out. Also want to shout out the guys and girls at EDC Banter and Trade UK and the Spyderco Swap Club UK on Facebook. They're a top set of guys. And there's all the bits set out nice and neat. As I said I'm going to etch everything apart from the phosphor bronze washers. So the first step is just to clean everything. I've put some gloves on just to stop getting fingerprints and oils from your hands onto the metal. I've just got a little bit of isopropyl alcohol in an old hand sanitizer bottle. It took me ages to try and find the right little pattern. I, I was toying around for about an hour doing little different sketches on stickers and you can see I'm not an artist by any means but I think you'll be pretty surprised at the results so finally I, I come up with two little different kind of designs and doing both these was by far the most tedious thing I think I've ever done in my life I had to fast forward it for you because it's quite painful to watch in real time After what seems like an eternity, I uh, completed the skull. Now to move on to the next thing. Okay, don't laugh. I told you I'm not an artist. And looking back at it now, it kind of looks like the octopus is just stood there with one long appendage hanging between its legs. I'm just doing a little bit of a measure up in it. To be fair, it seems like it, it fitted pretty well. Before we put the stickers on, we're just going to go over the contact points of the blade with uh, nail polish. I know I keep saying her uh, when I'm talking, guys. I know. It's something I'm working on. Promise. Make sure to cover every bit, even inside that little hole. But just be mindful not to go too high, or you'll see it when the blade's open. Also, if you're enjoying this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. It means a lot. Also, drop a comment. I love chatting to you guys about EDC and knife-related stuff. Just make sure you go over everywhere where needs covering. Double-check it. Finito. I'll just set this to the side now and let it dry, and I'll uh, get cracked on with backspring. Again, remembering just to go over where the blade touches all the contact points. Doesn't have to be mega neat because it's out of sight anyway. This has got to be one of my favourite bits about etching. I just love the results. It's almost got like a Damascus pattern to it when it's finished. Now to put the stickers on. I'll say again, you need to make sure your blade's really clean for this part. Make sure there's no oils or fingerprints or anything on it. I think we've got a perfect fit, guys. So now I've just chopped a Q-tip in half and I, I use that to kind of paint with. I just kind of freestyled, I didn't really have anything planned. 
And this is what it looks like before I etch it. And this is a skull on the other side. Again, I'm just kind of freestyling it here. My plan originally was to kind of put some bones underneath it or but I just thought, nah. Just using the Q-tip again to do a little bit of precision work. And that's the full knife ready for the etch. While that's drying, we'll move on to the brass scales. As you can see, they're pretty tarnished, so I decided to get my Dremel out to get them nice and shiny again. A little bit of Smurf Poo polishing compound on one of the buffing pads works a treat, to be fair. Like an absolute mushroom, I put a scratch in one at scales. I ended up tipping it upside down and the screw what holds the buffing wheel into the Dremel, it just gouged into the side at scale. But it don't matter anyway because it will be covered up with a shipwreck patina. So the products we're going to be using today is household ammonia. I got this from Amazon for about £8 something. I'll leave a link in the description of where I got everything. I've got some rock salt here but I think you can use any salt to be honest. I'm going to be using the plastic coat clear lacquer and I think this was about £8 from Tool Station. This is my first time doing a force patina on any metal so I know it won't be perfect but I think it turns out pretty decent. Wow, that smell. If you're doing it indoors make sure you've got doors and windows open because this stinks. Just giving it a nice liberal serving of salt. Then it's time just to put your scales in, put the lid on and leave it for a couple of hours. I'm just looking at them now, I start getting a little bit excited because I just know how good it's going to turn out. And while them scales are brewing away outside, I best start on with the etch. Just got this little bit of wire and I've got my ferric acid in the uh, old bolognese jar. I've also got some q-tips just to uh, periodically clean it as it's etching. This is about 8 minutes of etch so that's about right for me. You can see the sticker did a good job at stopping the etch. And then just take your time with the acetone to go over it and get all the nail polish off. Here's the back spring. We'll give it a little polish now. Do you see what I mean about the slight Damascus effect it's got? Very nice. After a little polish you can see it's, it's really starting to pop a little bit. Okay so it's been about 4 hours since I put them scales in so let's see how they're doing. Would you look at them me chavvy. To be honest, I could have left them a little bit longer to, to bring that blue colour out a bit more, but I really like the gold. Just give them a little hang on the washing line. Give them some clear coat. I did about six or seven coats, and I probably will do a couple more. Man, I'm not just saying this, I really am in love with these. But enough of that, let's put it back together. So we'll start just by putting the pins back in. They can be quite tricky because of the clear coat, but a little bit of acetone on a Q-tip will get rid of that. Just putting a little bit of oil where the washer goes. Just pop your washer back on. Add a few more drops of oil. You don't need much. 
Let me know in the comments section what your favourite knife is. Don't forget to put your washer back on. Just going to put the back spring back on now. I found the easiest way to do this is how I'm doing it now, through trial and error. There we go. Just making sure it's all lined up and pressed together nicely. You can see that's looking quite nice. Just want to say thanks again to everybody who's subscribed to the channel and supporting me, it really means a lot. And this video took ages to make. <laughs> nice little daylight shot. Yeah, I'm really chuffed how this turned out. I've already had people asking if I'm selling it. <laughs> any suggestions for any other videos, then please do let me know. Until the next time guys, peace.